Welcome to One Man's Tracks, the secondhand music channel. We're moving on now to the second installment in my little El Paso rock band retrospective series with another impactful, melodic post-hardcore group that formed hot off the heels of the At The Drive-In disbandment. With Jim Ward taking over as front man, Tony Hajar holding down the skins, Paul Hinoyo shifting from bass to guitar, and then recruiting fellow El Paso native Matt Miller to fill out that bass slot and form the band Sparta in the summer of 2001. Coming together with a slightly clearer, more streamlined blend of emotional post-hardcore, Sparta quickly signed a deal with DreamWorks Records and were able to release an EP in early 2002 called Austere. They'd hone in their new songs on tour and then meet up with producer Jerry Finn at Armory Studios in Vancouver to start working on this. Released just five months following that debut EP on August 13th, 2002, is the band's first full-length LP. Here's Sparta's Wiretap Scars. Less than two years after ATDI's worldwide breakthrough with Relationship of Command, Wiretap Scars does quite well to scratch a similar itch while still taking on a new sound and style of its own. It's more accessible, a cleaner production style overall, and generally simpler song structure, but it still does retain that impassioned explosiveness, the captivating hooks, the heavy hits, and the hulking guitar riffs. It's a tense, emotive album that ambiguously explores some of the many painful pitfalls that go along with the expectations of living a modern life of compellingly performed, stirring post-hardcore tracks. It's a first-rate debut effort that builds off of their previous outfit's endeavors and continues to progress a movement in the midst of changing tides. They've managed to produce a calculated and coherent yet still mysterious project whose thoughtful, dramatic delivery and tight performances make for 45 minutes of radical, engaged, innovative emo music. Let's dive right into this immediately stimulating LP that launches out the gate with one of Sparta's biggest hits. It's their remorseful, escapist lead single, Cut Your Ribbon. Screaming out with a boiling fury, this track erupts with a super memorable refrain over a punchy, rousing instrumental. Cut Your Ribbon is a knockout, such a cathartic introduction, bringing us onto the dynamic and soaring air, a track that begins by lightly picking apart the strange life of a rock star, its chorus then coming in, bringing another healthy dose of volatility, diagnosing this band's downfall amidst their placated, sybaritic circumstances that they've found themselves in. Mai then builds brilliantly up to this record's most simply poignant refrain, This time, this time, I'll get it right! Longing for another chance, monumentously rocking along with a foreboding groove that keeps me locked in for its entire duration. Momentarily taking their foot off the gas to try to come to terms with addiction on the ruminating atmospheric collapse. It rolls really well into the next stormy reverberations of Sans Cosm, another one with a slamming, captivating, and exasperated delivery. Both these tracks seemingly struggling with pressures and expectations, both uniquely stirring that keep the front half here exciting and engaged. Hitting the midpoint with a phenomenally melodic post-hardcore number called Light Burns Clear. Again, in a dramatic state of reflection, this time a bit more frank about accountability as well as just being in more control with a powerful sense of perspective that sears through this one's closing lines. There's then a contemplative return to uncertainty as Cataract comes drifting on in, perhaps about some unforeseen disaster. It's certainly shook by loss with a complex, heartbroken, emotional range that alongside its smattered 
fear and loathing field recordings. It harkens back to that ATDI era, kind of an invalid litter department-esque track. Speaking of similarities, Red Alibi sounds like a Blink song if they were hardcore working to overcome a devastating relationship, but moving on seems to be quite a struggle here and is just a theme that this album and this band seems to clash with again and again. Like with yet another battle with addiction that continues on where Collapse left off, RX Coup finally hits that inevitable rock bottom and starts the treacherous climb towards regaining one's pride. They then keep the epic emo grandiose and weary with an immediate relapse called Glasshouse Tarot that regretfully just stews in the ensuing depressive turmoil. Nearing the end, we've reached Echodyne Harmonic and are met with a very different Sparta than we've been presented with so far. Sure, they've maybe hinted at it with a mellow verse here and there, but in this case they go full-on introspective alt-rock. It's maybe U2 inspired, sounding like a cooler verve track. They go real big picture, get a tad psychedelic in their ponderings with this very closing song vibe to it that even wraps things up nicely with its fading out final line. But that just wouldn't be appropriate for these in your face rockers, so assemble the empire! If you're not convinced by now, it's not going to change your mind by any stretch, but for those of us who are converted, we are most certainly prepared to continue marching to Sparta's beat here as they triumphantly send us off with one last call to arms on this inciting, heavy-hitting, rapid return to impressive form from these thrilling El Paso talents. Wiretap Scar sees a band quickly finding its footing amidst the climactic crumbling of their former formidable five-piece musical family at the drive-in just over a year prior, incorporating some of those familiar, expressive, and lyrically impenetrable post-hardcore sentiments, and Jim growing into his own as lead singer and frontman of Sparta, it's an impressive transition that satisfies but also doesn't stagnate and becomes even more gratifying the more times I spin it. A fantastic bridge from their past to their future where they would go on to release my current favorite Sparta album, Porcelain, in July of 2004. So driven, crisp, and hooky, tons of memorable moments on it, just a fine picture of evocative emo. Potentially due to all the loss he was exposed to during this time, Jim Ward pulled the band off the road mid-Porcelain tour and took a break from Sparta for a little bit, during which time Paul Hinoyos went and joined the Mars Volta as their second guitarist and was replaced by Keely Davis. In October of 2006, the chiller Ruminations of Threes came out. That appropriately titled third LP was also accompanied by a short film titled Emanakia that is a somber portrayal of drummer Tony Hajar's really grim upbringing. It is dedicated to his late mother and it's actually available on YouTube so I've got it linked down below along with all this other music. They took a three-year hiatus between 08 and 2011 after which they did record and release one single following the At The Drive-In reunion shows in 2012. It was all rather short-lived and ended up in that 2016 falling out that led to Keeley replacing Jim at the following At The Drive-In reunion shows. Jim reformed Sparta in 2017 with Matt Miller returning on bass but a new guitarist and a new drummer, those being Gabriel Gonzalez and Cully Symington, and they'd release an album in April of 2020, just as the whole world was shutting down, called Trust the River, that to me doesn't sound really like this, or even really Sparta at all, but hey, that's their prerogative, and after the COVID bonanza, they had dissolved down into a duo of Ward and Miller, and they've actually recently released Sparta's fifth self-titled album just back in October, about six months ago. To get completely caught up, I better mention the 20th anniversary Wiretap Scars tour that starts back up in May. If you're near and able, I certainly think that'll be worth your while. 
Have you already seen these guys play live? Are you planning on seeing them during this tour? Let me know a comment about some cool experience you had where and when you saw them. Tell me your favorite Sparta tracks, your favorite Jim Ward solo projects. What do you guys know about Sleeper Car, Gone is Gone, Engine Down, all of these side projects are so overwhelming and I haven't even started talking about Omar. That Mars Volta extravaganza is coming up next so you better subscribe if you're looking forward to that. There's an at the drive and this station is non-operational video right there to check out. I'll link that Mars Volta one when it's done over here. Just leave me a comment about this underrated punk rock outfit. These guys are rad. Let me know what you think, you feel, your memories, all of that. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take all the best care. I'll see you next time. Cut your ribbon as it follows you. Anything, anything, how can you sleep at night?